a dubstep intro. Hey guys, what's up? It's Twitchy here. So I've been playing Die Wolf 20 mod pack for a little while now. Oh, Matt Black. And uh, I've been starting to get a hang of what I'm doing and I thought I'd start myself a little uh, video diary of my adventures. Um, on that note, welcome to my farm. It is a bit sparse. Um, I've literally just got started that that what's supposed to be a poly tunnel, but blatantly is just a bunker. Uh, has literally uh, just been thrown up. Um, yeah, I'll give you a quick tour around all the place. So over here we have my peat farm. Um, it is ugly as hell. Um, I now looking at it, I should have built it one lower, but I was young, inexperienced. I was ex experimenting, seeing what I could do. Um, quite proud of this actually. Um, fully self loading In fact, I have more of an issue of uh, getting too much stuff, but fully self-sustaining. Um, uh, igneous extruder produces myself some cobble. It's quite a lot of cobble actually. Uh, feeds into these three pulverizers and still will overfill them if just left on. Um, the pulverizers produce sand, which then goes into the auto crafting table, uh, water buckets, auto crafting table again, and dirt straight back from the uh, peat bog that keeps this maintained. Um, and then obviously all that lovely, lovely peat to finish on. Right. <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I need I need to keep the peat because I I like being powered by peat. <laughs> and uh, but it's this just it's so clunky. I I don't know what to do with it. It's it's just massive. I mean, sinking it into the ground will help, and then maybe I can build some sort of dome over this lot. Yeah. Anyway, so over here we have my meagre crops for a farm. This is pitiful. But one of the things that I'm going to be doing is building um, all those auto farms. I'm going to experiment with all the uh, the, the forestry mods, um, different types, because um, you've got that, that single block or the the, the multi-block multi farms, multi farm, yeah. Uh, and here we have my uh, storage room, hound house, house. Well, can't speak. But yeah, uh, mailbox, lovely. Everyone needs a mailbox. Small uh, animal supply. Everyone should have some animals as well. Obsidian plates. These things are amazing. Um, player player activated only. No mobs are getting in here. And then just standard ones to go out. Um, obviously, I just threw a bit of uh, redstone down the bottom because when you don't have that, when you stand on one plate, only one door opens, and that's uh, that's, that's horrible. Um, it's a bit rough and ready in here. Um, I need to build a, a whole sorting system. Um, sort these engines out, like all, all these were just for trying to make the peat farm work. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I'm going for the peat farm, but you know, I've made the choice now, so I'm going for it. Um, I did have a lot more peat farms in here, but the, uh, peat, peat engines in here, sorry. Um, but then I had to move them to make the peat farm work effectively, um, and now it's, they're all running flat out. Um, here's my little shrine to found stuff in um, dungeons. I found a port gun in a dungeon, which was amazing. Um, the ender pearl, uh, ender pearl dust. Not sure what I'm going to use it for, but it sounds cool. Discs always appreciated. And if if anybody knows what these logic matrix programmers are for, um, I'm presuming some sort of co computer craft. But yeah, um, that's about it for now. Um, as I say, my next job on is to get these farms sorted um, and I'll probably pick it up from there again. Hello. You're not in the prescribed place. Is that racist? Probably. Oh, killing cows, eating snake, being a man. Back here. All right, let's pop this torch back. Don't want to ruin all of Mrs. Good work. Oh well, a lot of torches missing here. Probably my fault. These things generally are. 
Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Uh, it's been about a day, maybe a day and a half since my last update, so uh, I thought I'd just uh, give you a quick blip about what I've been doing. Um, so, spurned on by the portal gun, uh, I went and did some research. Oh, where did I put it? Um, made myself this thing. Uh, I would put it on, but it's loads of singing, so uh, yeah. But I made those, they're still alive. I'm sure most of you know the, the tune. If you don't know the tune, go play portal. What are you playing at? Uh, on that same note, I made a sentry tower, a sentry turret, sorry. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't realise at the time that when every time you place the turret down, it has a small chance of becoming an oracle turret. And the problem with oracle turrets is that you can pop them down in front of anything, bad guy, good guy, your friends, whatever, and yeah, they, 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 this, this thing should be killing me now. So yeah, um, when I get some more obsidian, I'm going to build some more, maybe a small little uh, perimeter defence. Uh, the major news, got myself a farm. I don't have enough seeds to run my farm, but I've got my farm to get going. Uh, it's literally just uh, two blocks, the, the farm block, which I've got no seeds in, and the combiner, uh, both for part of the original, uh, both part of the original forestry mod. Um, Overall, not impressed. Uh, I've got to say, like th th this is just as ugly as that. I, I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah. So uh, next up, multi farm. Um, that is a definite must. Uh, probably going to go. I probably replace that. To be fair, like I dislike making machines and breaking them, but sometimes it has to be done. Uh, I have my own little uh, um, mining well system here. Uh, the reason I've gone for mining wells instead of a quarry is basically I don't have the diamonds. Um, you can make these with iron pickaxes, you need to make uh, diamond pickaxes and diamond sidings for quarries and uh, it's all far far too much. Um, right, well that's that. I think my next job on possibly get some uh, pig sorted. Oh, you may have also noticed that I've lost a few levels of experience. I was out running around and I, I got jumped. I, there was at least 7,000 of them. Uh, they all they all piled it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There was only like one or two. I just wasn't watching where I was going. Yeah. Oh, look. More cows in the wrong place. It's the thing when you start overbreeding cows. They just get a uh, constant supply of beef. Gotta do something with these guys. There's an awful lot of them. Hopefully, there's a machine that can do that. I know I saw a feeding station when I was um, mucking around in the in the too many items section. Um, I'm just not sure how you go about killing them. Um, I mean, like if this was normal Minecraft, I'd use water and a laser blade and the hopper and stuff like that. But it's not more normal Minecraft. It's feed the beast or die wolf twenty, which I've already. This one, I'm playing die wolf twenty. Uh, yeah, so I need to make some sort of machine. Um, so yeah, I'll go away and think on that. I'll try and record a few more of my exploits. Like there was two two death scenes. I'm I'm a little bit, a little bit glad I didn't get them down on video. Um, plus, I should have should have recorded playing with the turret. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get back to you. All right. So. This is probably going to all just be useless, sort of bump. But I'm going to record everything of this and highlight it out. Um, I'm mainly after green zyocranthium or whatever it is to finish a path. Um, but <laughs> I'm not going to pass up any other minerals, am I? Well, I'm going to pass up a lot of minerals. I'm not going to pass up any uh, rare stuff. So. Yeah, a lot of people they come down in these mines and they get lost, and it's really easy to, especially in areas like that. I mean, just just look. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five ways out of here. Um, now a lot of people are like, oh, if you put down a line of cobblestone, point in the direction because it's not natural or stuff like that. Um, but especially on these low turnover ser servers, I have a much better way of doing it two torches with one point in the direction you're supposed to go now like this is really hard to like accidentally spam out with torches 
Um, and yeah, I, I've just got to know this pattern really well. I now point it down whichever way is back. And yeah, it, it all works wonders. Uh, this isn't to say that I never get lost, because there is quite often that I forget to put down the markers. And there's some blue. Uh, let's deal with this water. But yeah, like, if you're using cobble, the, these sort of situations could arise fairly easily. Um, which is confusing. Uh, I got a nice little zombie spawner down there. Uh, oh, it's all dark down this way. Oh, speaking of dark. Hey, he's not going to kill me. I don't know what, why I'm being all dirt about it. If anyone spots me, uh, running past anything vitally important, let me know. Uh, let's try this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Have it. Got to get used to uh, using my buttons, like one, two, three, four, to change. I got far too used to using my mouse wheel, and it's so slow. If it was actually you know, a player rather than just this uh, monster, I'd be dead within seconds. Hello? Right. Let's throw down a few torches. Ooh, lapis. Nice. Yeah. Oop, get out of my face! <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, redstone. I need that redstone. Um, did I bring any glass with I did bring some glass with me. So, like, lots of people just, like, block in their, uh, their, their lava or things like that. And, yeah, it, it does the job. But if you got the time, effort, and the patience to not be killed by it, why not use it as a light source? Oh, that might actually be easier said than done. Especially as I've got no torches left. Yeah, fucking. Oh, don't destroy that one. That's where it's coming from. Ah, oh, and as if by magic, there's some green cychromium. I don't know, I'll get the name right one day. I am about to lose all my light, though. Uh, <laughs> I had torches. I had uh, charcoal on me. Coal on me, anyway. Right, I'm after the green. I'll come back here when I've uh What I really need to do is find me something like a fortune book or enchant a fortune pickaxe. Like I always have such terrible luck with all the enchanting. Um yeah, if you want efficiency or unbreaking hey but if you want extra stuff, no, I can't. I, I just never seem to get them. Like on the vanilla server, I've got chests full of books. Chests full of books that, that both me and Misaligned have uh, gone and enchanted. And it's, neither of us get like Silk Touch or uh, Fortune. Oh, oh, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and get this redstone out. Um, hopefully not die in the process, I'm just going to dig around. If I dig across there, I can see what's going on and dig around the lava. Yeah, clever, eh? 
Well, I feel a little bit chuffed with myself for that. Yeah, and hopefully I'll get back up to the surface and... Uh oh, see, these things keep catching me out. I keep thinking they're sapphire, uh, emeralds, but they're not. They're just sapphires. Not that emeralds are actually any good for anything. Right, well, I got what I needed. I'm going to run back up through my well-defined path and I'll see you guys in a bit. You're an alien! No, you're an alien! No, you're an alien! Shh, you're both aniums. Right, well, here we are, back at the surface after some uh, selective mining. <laughs> my farm's full of burning zombies, awesome. Uh, let's try and get some, get some experience before he dies. Uh, sweet, no, not spiders. I always seem to have a bad time fighting spiders. Are you a good spider now? Yeah, you're a good spider now, you can live. So, yeah, back after all that mining. Um, I have an inventory full of stuff and a lot of chests to empty it into. Um, it's right now that a sorting system would be very good. But I'm not going to get distracted with that. I've got a miniature build on the go that I'm already doing. So uh, I'll get back when hopefully I've finished that. Well, it's like almost something sexual about the way these uh, four are pumping in and out together. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway. He's stealing my dirt. Not going to have this. Where did he go? Oh, oh wow. There he is. Have it. So, I love the noise they make, it is so intense. That area is all like, ah, oh, it's really hard just to, like, get a hold of them. Like, I the thing with Enderman, the thing that me and my friends have found on the vanilla server, if not here, is the moment you go for an offensive attack, like, actually take the battle to them, they just run away. But if you're like, I mean, I'm unarmored at the moment. Like, there's, there's, there's nothing that should make them think that I am a formidable fight. That like, I've been killed by Enderman many times in this position. And he ran off with my dirt. Oh well. Hey guys, so I'm probably going to be uh, pulling this episode to a close now. But just before I do. I want to show you this uh, rather suspicious looking thing I've built over here. So I've been watching back the, uh, the, the recordings that I've made of this and decided that maybe we could get some sort of mileage out of the, the fact that I'm quite new and inexperienced at this all. So uh, if you like getting intoxicated and you'd like to uh, get intoxicated along with me, feel free to follow the uh, intoxicated with tr twitchy drinking rules. Uh, every time I get an um, an anyway, an ah, uh, an uh, you know the ones I want about. Take one finger of your drink. If you don't know what a finger of a drink is, go ask one of your older friends. They'll be able to inform you. Um, every time that I misplace an item in a, in a craft thing, I, and I put it there and then suddenly go, oh no, I want it there. Then, uh, you know, have two fingers of that drink. <laughs> just, just like that. Do you see that happening? Have, have two fingers of your drink. And every time that I mispronounce, I mix up my words, I say something is one thing when it's something else, finish your drink. And uh, with that, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.